Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Jack Knight 2000. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt, but I do that a lot anyway, so who really cares? Anyways, this is your boy Jack Knight 2000. Today, guys, we are going to be trying these bad boys, Cheetos Flaming Hot Pepper Puffs. They're supposed to be the hottest ever, and you know I'm into trying hot stuff to see if I can take it. Let's do this. We got the Cheetos Flaming Hot Pepper Puffs. Now I don't believe that they're gonna make something as hot as a habanero or something as hot as a, you know, something like the end hot sauce that I had that nearly killed my stomach uh, or ghost pepper or anything like that. Um, it doesn't show any like real peppers or anything like that. So I highly doubt that it's gonna be like, oh my God, this is the hottest thing I've ever had. But then again, I don't know. We're gonna try this bad boy. First thing, let's go ahead and pop this open and get a first smell. Here we go. Okay. Smells hot. It definitely smells hot. You can smell the hotness. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and take it out and let me show you what this bad boy looks like. There's the nugget right there. Now, I do have some um, milk here guys, this is not going to be a long taste test video because, well, it's really not that serious. So, let's go ahead and give this a try guys. This is the Cheetos Flaming Hot Pepper Puffs, supposed to be hottest ever. Let's give it a shot. Here we go guys. Alright guys, I've had about, <clears throat> alright I had about three of these bad boys. Now, if you're not into hot stuff, it may give you a little bit of run for your money. However, for me, it's not that serious, it's not that bad guys. Um, It gives me a little zing. For normal people, yes. I would say on the hot scale, at least for me, this would probably be, gosh, I don't know if I wanna give it a four or a six, like, or in between a five. Let's just go with five. Because it's not, out of 10, it's, it's not, it tastes like a regular hot Cheeto to me, or flaming hot Cheetos or something like that. It's really not that hot, guys. Very big disappointment with these bad boys. They keep making these chips. Main brand. Uh, the name brands keep making these chips and they're not hot like that. Like, okay, I'm letting it settle in and it's there, it's there. You get a little zing, you get a little zing, but it's not overwhelming. It's not to the point where it's just like, oh, this is like the hot sauce or a ghost pepper that burns the freak out of my mouth. And I'm drinking this because it's very salty. 400 calories per pack. And let me show you how much is in here. That's all that's in here, guys. It's it's nothing. This is this is literally nothing. Like this is my hand. And you can see I got big hands, but still. Look how big my hand is. I could crush this. It's nothing. 400 calories. Not good. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I'd have to give it a five. It's okay, it's not overwhelming. For people who don't eat hot stuff all the time, it may be something that will be like, oh my God, I can't have too many of those, whatever. But for me, not so much. But anyways, guys, this has been your boy, Jack and Knife 2000. I will see you guys on the next video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have had anything hot like that before or if you guys have had these bad boys. And let me know what you think down below. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, love, and as always, the Reflowers Grease. Until the next one, peace.